welcome back. Today is a very exciting day. I'm excited because I want to use this stuff and I've just been like tossing it in a bin and now the gorgeous hair event is finally over and I can finally start using some of it and I'm really excited, okay? Um, today we are going to be doing a hair care haul. Yes. I feel like I normally don't buy like a lot of hair products. Like I usually um, and buying makeup or skincare and hair care kind of gets pushed to the side. I'll buy stuff here and there typically from like BoxyCharm or something like that but it is rare that like I go out of my way to actually buy hair products and now that I'm kind of trying to get a little bit more serious about my hair uh, I figured it was a good time to pick some stuff up that I've been wanting to try. Right? Pick some stuff up that from brands that I know that I like just a little mismatch of things. Okay, so today we're doing a hair care haul. Um, we've got shampoos, conditioners, hair stylers, hair accessories, a little bit of everything. Um, I have a lot of stuff from the Ulta Gorgeous Hair Event, and then I have a few things that I picked up from TJ Maxx, and a few things that I picked up from Marshalls. So I'm excited to jump in and talk about all of this because I'm excited to use it all. Um, I recently, I have been like investing in my hair lately okay I bought the Dyson like the hair straightener and the blow dryer my husband got them for me for Mother's Day but I got both of those and then um, I bought the air wrap styler they just released the new one the summer 2022 launch um, and I bought that because I've been wanting to try it for so long I've heard such amazing things and like y'all have seen my hair some days it looks great some days it's like what the fuck are you doing I'm just trying to get it to look good every day okay so we're hoping we're hoping, we're crossing our fingers that this all works out. Um, but yeah, so I purchased some new hair care and I figured let's go ahead and talk about some of it because we don't usually talk about uh, hair care a lot here. The Ulta Gorgeous Hair Event is over. If you are unaware, it's basically the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty but with hair care stuff. Um, they had a lot of stuff actually and I don't think I've ever shopped like the Gorgeous Hair Event because I'm, like I said, like I don't normally like go out of my way to purchase hair care products. I just buy what I need when I need it. This is the first year that like I was really paying attention so there's a bunch of stuff here. I am going to start with TJ Maxx and Marshall stuff because there's only a few things there. So we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. I'll have timestamps down below as well as links to everything if you're curious. And let's jump in. So I went to Marshall's and TJ Maxx a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago now. Um, and I, I, need, I needed random things. I had like a list of random things that I was trying to look for. Um, but I found some hair care products. So I picked up the Not Your Mother's a Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Finish Spray. This was $5. I love Not Your Mother's hair care, you guys. This is Buildable Anti-Frizz Texture Spray for tousled, sultry hair without the stick. I really enjoy dry texture sprays. I don't know why. I just love the way that they make my hair look. I love the texture it gives without. And it's, it's, it is kind of like like a low-key hairspray. Um, that's what I, it's like a finishing spray, right? So I kind of use it as like a low-key hairspray because it doesn't have the stickiness that hairspray does, but it does give you just a really beautiful texturized finished look. And I haven't tried this one. I have, I think the one that I use most often is the Bumble and Bumble. They have one. Um, it's like the thickening texture, dry texture finishing spray. And I haven't tried this one, and this one is obviously a much more affordable alternative. So I figured I would give this a try. I also love the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe collection. So it seemed like a good a good find. Um, and also, do you guys remember the Authentic Beauty concept? Oh, I love this brand. I love this brand. And this was featured in, I think, an AIA Beauty Bundle box, I think. But this is the Stronghold Hairspray. Hairspray is one of those things that I don't have a stash of. I have, like, two. And most people would be like, oh, that's a really healthy thing to do. But I'm like, what happens when I run out? So I've been trying to stock up a little bit on hairsprays um, just because I don't know which ones I want. You know what I mean? This was $12.99. I, like I said, I have tried this brand through AIA and I love this brand. All of their products smell so good. And so I saw this, I was like, ooh, a hairspray, okay. Uh, I figured I'd pick it up. I haven't tried, I haven't tried any of this stuff yet except for stuff that's like repurchases, which is only a few, but I'm excited about that one because we all know. Sometimes I like the dry texture, sometimes I like the Stronghold hairspray, but we all know Mama needs hairspray. Carol's Daughter is another hair care brand that I really like. If you have very, very dry hair, um, it's fabulous. So I found the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Shine Enhancing Hair Sheen for dry, dull hair. It smells so good. And these hair sheens just give your hair a beautiful shine. This was $7.99 at Marshalls. 
Um, you can find a lot of Carol's Daughter at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and places like that. And there are so many other products that are so good. I love hair oils. I usually use a hair oil in my ends every day. It makes it a little bit shinier. And these I have used, I don't think I've used this particular one, but I've used a hair oil from Carol's Daughter before and they're fabulous. So I picked up that. And then I also grabbed the Coco Cream Curl Quenching Deep Moisture Mask. It's an instant intense moisture system for very dry, curly to coily hair. I have naturally wavy hair um, that I tend to put some form of curls or some for form of waves in. But I really like using curl products because I feel like when I do, if I add curls or like right now I've got kind of like a loose curl thing going when I add that um, it tends to make the curls last longer um, so I really enjoy using products that are made for curly hair this guys their masks are so good if you have dry hair these are like moisture bombs they're so good and the products always smell so good I got this at Marshall's for $7.99 I can smell it through this thing Oh, it's so good. I love these. And my mom has really dry hair too. And I got her to try this, uh, one of these masks. And now she's obsessed with this brand too. They're fabulous. And then I also saw this. This is from Deva Curl. This is the Heaven and Hair Divine Deep Conditioner. It was 10 bucks at Marshall's. Um, I've tried a few Deva Curl products and I do like them. So I figured I would pick this up because I haven't tried this before. And hair masks and deep conditioners are my jam. I love them. But I haven't tried this one. Um, so I figured that that would be good to try. It says if your curls are dry and need more intense moisture, swap out or boost your regular conditioner with this must have. So we like moisturized hair. We like hydrated hair. So I grabbed that. Then I went to TJ Maxx, again, looking for things that Marshalls didn't have. Um, I found this on clearance. This is the Verb C Conditioner Body Texture and Soften. It's $7. Um, I actually have tried this before and I really liked it. And for $7, also, Verb, if you're looking for a hair oil, get the ghost oil from Verb. It is the best hair oil I've ever used in my entire life. And if you don't like the way that hair oils feel, like the Moroccan oil hair oil that I talked about in Shop My Samples, I love that oil, but it does have like a, a kind of a feel to it, you know what I mean? It This this brand's oil is literally ghost oil. It is fabulous. But seven bucks for a Verb conditioner, I can't pass that up. And I like this because this is gives you um, some texture to your hair as well. And like anything that gives texture to your hair, I am all in on. Also from Verb, I found the Ghost Hairspray Weightless Medium Hold and Brushable Texture. This was $13. Um, I have not tried this yet. But again, I love the Ghost Oil. And I'm really intrigued by this because this is supposed to be a weightless medium hold for natural looking crunch free workable styles. I've personally found for curls, um, I need to be able to brush through them. So I really like hairsprays that give you kind of workable hold, but still can give you long lasting hold. I'm hoping that this one works really well. If you've tried this, let me know what you think, because like I said, the ghost oil, I cannot talk about it enough. It is absolutely amazing. So I'm interested to see what I think about that. And then I saw this. This is from Ava NYC. I love Ava NYC. You can get the brand at Target or at Ulta. They make fabulous products. Their hair mask is super affordable and it's super great. This was $8 at TJ Maxx and it is the Just Glisten Hair and Body Shine Mist. Like I'm intrigued. I really like products that add shine to my hair. My big things are waves, texture, volume, and shine. You'll notice the theme here, but I'm really interested to try this out because this is supposed to add shine, enhance curls, and be weightless. We'll have to see if it works, but I'm pretty excited about it. Now let's talk about the Ulta Gorgeous Hair Event. I placed eight orders dur during the Gorgeous Hair Event, so I'm just going to go through the orders that I placed. Um, on the, t I don't remember the dates, right? But I remember like the dates that I ordered them. So on the 12th, I placed an order for two products. The first product is the Virtue Create Six in One Styler. So this is supposed to add shine, texture, and protection to your hair. Work a quarter size amount between hands and apply to clean damp hair or dry hair for mid shaft ends. Now, I almost didn't buy this because I went through at the beginning of the sale and kind of made a wish list. And then this was one of the last things that I added to the wish list. Um, this has alpha keratin in it. I've tried keratin products before. They normally don't work for my hair, but it was $17 dur during the sale. So I figured I would go ahead and try it out because it does have pretty good reviews. And this brand intrigues me. I don't know why, like the packaging, something about it intrigues me. So I figured I'd give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. It could be really good or it could be really bad is basically what I've deigned myself to. I also picked up a new wet brush, but this is the Pro Shine Enhancer. It adds shine while gliding through tangles with ease. If you guys don't know, I love wet brushes. That's 
that's pretty much all I use on my hair is wet brushes. I think that even if you're brushing through dry hair, wet brushes tend to be gentler. They tend to not cause as much breakage in my hair as a regular, like I used to use paddle brushes a lot and paddle brushes caused so much breakage. And I found since I've switched over to using wet brushes exclusively, um, like the amount of split ends and everything that I have have really decreased. So I saw this one and it's supposed to add shine. I don't know how it does that, how a hairbrush adds shine. Um, but I figured I'd pick it up and we'd see. This was $8 during the sale, so why not? I already know I like this brand, so even if it doesn't add shine, I'm still, you know, I mean, it's a wet brush, hair brush, so I'm cool with it. But I am really curious to see, because it says that natural boar bristles distribute natural oils, leaving hair shiny and smooth. We'll have to give it a shot, um, but I am very interested in the claims that it makes, and it's, I mean, it's pink. So it's it's cute <laughs> on May 15th um, I picked up the IGK best life 100% plant powered nourishing hair oil I love the IGK brand y'all know this this was interesting to me I really like hair oils but this is supposed to be for dull or dehydrated strands um, and if you want soft nourish hair with a weightless shine again do you guys see the theme here um, so you're just supposed to apply one to two pumps for mid shafts to ends on damp or dry hair air dry or blow dry style and finish as usual now I usually do air dry my hair. I will say since purchasing the Dyson hair dryer, I have been bl uh, blow drying it a lot more often because let me tell you, my hair is very thick, right? And so it takes forever to blow dry my hair. I mean forever. And the Dyson can blow dry it in less than 10 minutes. It's life changing. If you're going to pick up any of the Dyson products, I mean like I only have tried the two of them, but the blow dryer is life changing. And I, my stylist in my salon, does uh uses the uh, Dyson blow dryer and that's how I like I was like okay I'm sold because that's the one that she uses and it just was so fast and I was like yeah I need that um but this is supposed to be really good for damp or dry hair which I like because um I like to be able to kind of decide when I want to use it you know what I mean sometimes I like to use it in damp sometimes I like to use it in dry I am pumped to try it and also the packaging I'm, I don't know what oh god you get good packaging on something and I am sold like I it's a sickness I can't help it also, um, I had, I made a diamond again. We don't want to talk, we're not, we're not going to talk about that. But um, they sent me an email with a code for a free gift. And so the code, the free gift that I picked out, there were a bunch of different ones actually, and I was surprised. But the one that I picked out was hair care related, and I picked it up on this day. So I figured I would go ahead and share that too. Um, I got a full size of the Way Leave-In Conditioner. This is one of my favorites. I just talked about this and shot my samples as well. So if you know, you know, it is fabulous. And it does not weigh my hair down. And I feel like that's a big thing for me is so many hair care products weigh my hair down. A lot of like your traditional drugstore brands like Tresemme and Pantene and Herbal Essences, they all weigh my hair down. Aveeno, oh, so much. And so I feel like that's been a big thing for me lately is trying to find things that don't weigh it down. You know what I mean? Okay, on May 16th, um, I picked up a few things. They actually had pretty good sales this day. Um, this is the... I think the most expensive thing that I got during the event and I was interested because I've tried the Grande like eyelash serum and I really like it. I do think that it works. You have to keep using it but I do think it works. And then they had this. This is the Grande Hair Enhancing Serum for thicker and healthier looking hair. So I mean it looks like this. It's very expensive. During the sale it was $62.50. The regular price is $125. But you're supposed to do it one time daily and you part your hair to expose the hair roots. You apply three to four drops directly to your scalp, massage in with fingers, and then you do it once nightly. You're supposed to see an improved appearance in eight weeks with full improvement in four months. And then after four months, apply every other day for maintenance. So it's just supposed to do the same thing for the lash serum, but like on your scalp, right? I have a lot of like baby hairs up here from postpartum hair loss. And so I, I don't know. I figured I would give it a shot because I am intrigued by it and I want to see if it works as well as the um, lash serum does because like I said the lash serum works really great so we're gonna try it out I don't think I really don't think it's something that like I would continue purchasing I mean I guess we'll have to see how it works we'll see also I'm trying to grow my hair out like do you guys remember how long it used to be and then but it was in such bad condition that I had to cut off most of it um, I'm trying to grow it out to that length again and so anything that can help me with that my hairstylist had suggested this um, Aura Bay like thickening spray it was like it's supposed to help your hair grow faster and I bought it but I haven't tried it yet um, but 
we're working on it, okay? Um, that same day, they had a sale on Not Your Mother's, and uh, I think it was the Not Your Mother's... I don't remember what which lines it was, but I picked up some stuff from Not Your Mother's, because like I said, I love that brand. That is a drugstore brand. Um, it is a little bit harder to find, because I don't... I love that. I take that back. Target does sell it, actually. Okay, so it's not really harder to find nowadays, but it used to be relatively hard to find. Um, but they have some new products that I've been wanting to try, or products that they've had out for a while, um, and then a couple of repurchases. So the first things that I picked up were these. This is the Blue Sea Kale and Pure Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Shampoo and the Conditioner. I love these because these are not traditional bottles. These are like bags, right? It's 98% naturally derived ingredients, and then this is 33% less plastic than regular bottles, 25% less energy, and it's supposed to make it to where you can get every drop so you're not wasting a bunch of product as you do with like the traditional bottles um, because this is a flexible squeeze pouch. I love Not Your Mother's products and this concept, I was like, I feel like I wanna try this because I wanna know how easy it is to actually, you guys know I struggle with that, getting the last drop of anything. So I wanted to kind of test these out because I didn't even know that they made these and I haven't seen these in stores. So this shampoo and conditioner I have tried before. Um, it was a while ago. I recall liking it, I think. We'll get, we're gonna give it another shot, but it's really the packaging that like I'm super intrigued about. If that works, that, they might be onto something here. And those were $4 each during the sale, my goodness. I also picked up the Not Your Mother's Aquatic Mint and Coastal Sea Holly Scalp Refresh Hair and Scalp Mist. It reinvigorates hair and scalp with a cooling sensation. So I've tried a couple of scalp masks that are supposed to do this, more specifically the Briagio one from my last empties video. And I don't, I just don't like the scalp masks. Scalp scrubs are fine, but it's also not something that you should use like every day. So I saw this and I was like, okay. I mean, that would basically be the same essential concept as the cooling area of the scalp scrubs or the scalp masks without being necessarily as like invasive. You know what I mean? So I figured I would give this a try. It is to spray all over dry hair as often as needed. Apply to scalp for added cooling freshness. Do not rinse. It's ideal for use post-workout after commuting or to help eliminate overpowering odors. So it's kind of like deodorant for your hair, but it's also reinvigorating. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try it. And then finally, I picked up the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Ultimate Nutrition Butter Mask. As you can see, I'm really looking for some new masks. I like, I have a couple of my favorite hair masks. But there's always other stuff out there. We gotta just try them all. Um, but I feel like I've tried this one before too. And it's been a while since I've purchased stuff from Not Your Mother's. And I don't know why, because I used to love this brand. But they've just kind of gone to the wayside on me. And so they were on sale and I was like, well, let's go ahead and try out some more products from them. They also had a couple of AG hair products. And I've tried a few things from this brand and I've liked them. So the first thing that I picked up was the Tousle Texture Body and Shine Finishing Spray. I, we've gone over this already. I like texture. It's a finishing spray. It is what it is. Um, and then I also picked up the Beach Balm. This is for tousled texture curl. So this is supposed to create bombshell worthy waves that are natural, full of texture, and incredibly sexy. It's a lightweight, salt-free cream infused with keratin protein, silk amino acids, and our curl creating complex to condition and keep your hair healthy and looking good. A light coconut verbena fragrance transports you to the beach. I love that. So this is supposed to give you, it says curl factor two out of five. Scrunch a small amount through damp hair, adding more if needed, air dry or gently diffuse, setting dryer on low volume, high heat. I'm really excited to try this out because this just sounds kind of like something that I could do without having to use a bunch of heat styling tools. And so I'm always interested. I just want some nice beachy waves, you know, in the summertime. We'll have to see how it works out, but I have high, high hopes for that one. Um, on the 18th, they had some BioSilk products on the sale, and I am currently using a BioSilk hairspray, and I have been loving it. So I figured, first of all, I went ahead and grabbed a backup of my hairspray. Ten bucks during the sale. It is the Finishing Spray Natural Hold Silk Therapy. Um, I love the hairspray. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I'm using. I'm pretty sure, but I love the hairspray that I'm using. So best case, now I have a backup. Worst case, um, I'll try a different hairspray from the brand, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm excited about it because the BioSilk hairspray is actually surprisingly very good. And then I also picked up the Silk Therapy Shine On Spray. This is a unique weightless finishing spray that controls frizz and provides hair with an instant brilliant shine and UV protection. Do you see the pattern here? All right, now this one I briefly mentioned during my shot my samples because I had tried sample packets of this and normally sample packets 
don't give me enough of an idea on whether or not I like a product to determine whether or not I want to purchase said product. But these, uh, the sample pack, as I tried, I was like, dang, I really like those. And literally a couple of days later, um, during, on the 20th, they were in the sale. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Uh, so it is the Fakai Apple Cider Vinegar line. I picked up the, I picked up all three of the products that I had tried the samples of. So we've got the scrub. Um, first of all, I want to say apple cider vinegar. I don't know why. I love the scent of it. I don't know why. I cannot tell you why, but I am obsessed with it. I think it smells so good. And this is more of kind of like, like a creamier scrub because I know that DP Hue does a lot of apple cider vinegar products and I used to use those religiously and I loved them. But the scrub that they had was slightly different than this one. Um, and I don't know which one I like more, but I, I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards this one and I, cause I only try, I can't say that definitively cause I've only tried it once, but this one was really nice. And this was kind of the catalyst where I was like, you know what? These products are not half bad. So we're going to give this one like a full try now. But then I also grabbed the apple cider detox rinse, which DP Hue also does a ver version of this. And I've gone through so many bottles of it. I have not purchased it, um, recently. But this is like, this one is a conditioning detangler. So the other one is just a hair rinse. The DP Hue one is just a hair rinse. And this is a new take on conditioner. So this is supposed to remove all impurities and chlorine while detangling hair. So it intrigues me enough because it's different enough to want to continue to try it out. Because the DP Hue one, like I said, I really enjoyed that one. Um, but I haven't purchased it lately and I don't know why. And then I also got the uh, Apple Cider Detox Shampoo. This is an anti-buildup shampoo. It's supposed to gently remove all impurities and chlorine without stripping your hair. And I really liked how these worked kind of like in conjunction with each other. And then the scrub was also very good. So we're going to give those a more, a better, more intensive try now. On this day, they had, and I think it was for like a whole week. I could be wrong about that, but I took advantage of it on this day. They had a free Kristen S. Instant Exfoliating Scalp Scrub. I think it was free with any Kristen S. full-size purchase. I could be misremembering that. I'm not 100% sure, but anyways. But, so this one was a freebie, and I love the Kristen S. brand. I've been trying out more of their products after seeing them at Ulta and Target, and the products are actually really good. Like, I'm using the conditioner, like, just the everyday conditioner now, and for an everyday conditioner, y'all, it is fabulous. I love it. Um, but I've, I've purchased a bunch of products from Chris and S that I'm kind of slowly trying out. Um, and Chris, this is actually ironically the brand that kind of got me more, got me reinterested in hair care products because I saw them and I love how like their lines are laid out because it's very easy to follow. And I, it just like piqued my interest. So I picked this up because this was a freebie. And this is a scalp scrub, um, a non-drying scrub that removes flakes, product buildup, excess sebum, and hard water deposits from the scalp. We have hard water, unfortunately. So it's nice to have products like this. I haven't tried this one, but we're gonna give it a try. But then in order to get that for free, um, I picked up the Kristen S One Signature Hair Water. Now I have a lot of Kristen S products, like I said, but this is for all hair types. And this is interesting because it's a hair water. And like when I saw it, I was like, what the hell is a hair water? This was $11. And the back of it says, I totally know what you're going to ask. Why do I need a hair water? Can't I just use water from the faucet? No, it's not the same. The reason this hair water is so special is because it comes out in a super fine, consistent mist, which is what makes all the difference. So use this to add moisture back into hair before restyling, add texture, calm down hair that has been over curled, add fullness back into hair that has been over straightened, rehydrating dry feeling hair, remove creases when doing flat iron waves, and add the Kristen S hair signature fragrance. The fragrance is pretty good, I'll give her that. Um, but this, I totally got my attention. And I was like, okay, okay. I mean, it's different from many hair products that I've tried before, but it's like, intriguing all the same because of the claims so we're gonna try it out got both of these from Kristen s which is a brand that i do enjoy um also on this day this is not hair related at all but i'm gonna throw it in there because i'm so excited about it ofra came out with their starlet collection uh liquid highlights right and they have a shade called Monroe. And ironically, it was the shade, like I wasn't planning to pick any of these up, but if I was going to, this would have been the shade. And when I saw that it was called Monroe, I was like, I have to get it. I have a daughter named Monroe. Um, so I had to get it. It's so cute. It's going to look so great slathered all over my face. I am pumped about it. So I did pick that up too. On the 23rd, they had some of the Alterna My Hair, My Canvas products in the sale. And I've tried out a few of the products from that line. Um, during the holiday season, I did like a gift set, like the top gift sets from Amazon and from Target, I think. 
I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it. Um, I don't, I mean, most of those probably aren't available anymore, but it, you, you know what I'm talking about. And I actually quite enjoy the products thus far, the ones that I've tried thus far. And so I figured I'd go ahead and try out some other ones. So I picked up the Alterna My Hair My Canvas New Beginnings Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, this is a mild vegan exfoliating cleanser that gently removes impurities and builds up from the hair without stripping color. It's kind of like, like a scrubby shampoo, but I don't think there's like any scrub particles in it. I'm very intrigued. Um, it's rare that you hear a shampoo called a cleanser, but it does say that it's exfoliating. Oh, there are little scrubby. Oh, it looks like a, like one of those face washes with the scrubbies. Oh, it smells so good. So I just saw it and I was like, yep, we got to try it. It looks different. We got to try it. I also picked up one of the Alterna My Hair My Canvas Glow For It Universal Glosses. It's a hair oil. That's all I gotta say about that. And then I got the My Hair My Canvas Cool Hydrations Nourishing Mask. Now this one I'm curious about um, because it's, it's, a, it's a hair mask and I'm wondering though if it is one of like the cooling hair masks. Because I feel like usually for cooling products we see that a lot more with like the scrubs and um, like the scalp masks, not necessarily hair masks. So I'm just kind of curious to see if this is like kind of a cooling sensation one. So I grabbed that as well. All right, now on the 25th, they had the Nature Lab Tokyo product. All of these are cruelty free, by the way. Um, and Nature Lab Tokyo, I think is one of those brands that constantly, I constantly forget that they're cruelty free. And then um, when I realize it again, I'm like shocked. But so I've tried some of their products before. They are fabulous. Dude, I loved the shampoo conditioner that I tried. So they had some of the products. These were $7.50 and I was like, yes. So I got the Perfect Texture Shampoo and Conditioner. These are what the bottles look like. I'm not a huge fan of the bottles, obviously. I'm sure you can tell why. Um, but for $7.50, knowing that I love the shampoo conditioner that these, this brand makes, I was like, absolutely gotta have them. What sold me though, what put me over the edge, and I was like, okay, um, is you can buy refills. So I picked up a refill for the shampoo and conditioner, but in the refills, I got perfect volume. These are normally $23, which I don't feel like is very bad for a 22.9 fluid ounce refill, and obviously it's better for the environment and everything. Um, but during the sale, they were $11.50, and I was like, yes, please. Um, so I thought that that was just so cool. It's 85% less packaging weight compared to two bottles. As far as I know, I think this fills up two bottles. So I got perfect texture in the bottles and the perfect volume in the refills, and I am so pumped. I am so, like, I think this is one of the most, like, things that I'm most excited about. So thrilled about that. And then the last day of the sale that I shopped was the 27th. I only picked up one thing, and it is the David Curl Flexible Hold Hairspray, a no crunch finishing styler uh, for ultimate curl flexibility, it says. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've tried a Diva Curl. Is it Diva or Diva? I think it's Diva Curl. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't think I've tried a hairspray from them before though. So I wanted to give this a shot. It says it's wind and humidity resistant. It gives you flexible hold, frizz control, and shine. Um, and it is also safe for color treated hair. So there's that. Um, that is my hair care haul. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave any questions you have down below. I, like I said, I'm just getting into hair care a little bit more now, and so this is kind of a fun, like, exploratory phase for me. Let me know down below what your favorite hair care brands slash products are, because I'm super curious. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me. I'll catch y'all next time. Have a great one.